In this video, I'm going to be showing you an unusual piece of technology that was featured in the 2017 film Baby Driver. In this movie, the titular character Baby makes secret recordings on a micro cassette recorder. At one point in the film, he captures a conversation that goes like this. Retarded means slow. Is he slow? No. And you don't sound retarded to me. He takes that recording home and puts it into a machine that enables him to scratch the audio, much like you would a vinyl record, and add it into a mixtape. Now you might think the machine he used was just something created for the movies, but it's not. It's a real thing called the Califone Cardmaster, and I'm going to demonstrate it to you now. The phone Cardmaster was an educational tool that was sold in the US. It was used primarily in the fields of teaching languages. It can be powered from a mains power supply or four C cell batteries. Now with mine I've got two different sizes of cards. These longer ones here with a magnetic strip across the bottom are long enough to hold a phrase on them, whereas the smaller ones are just the right size for a single word. The machine is a recorder and a player, so we've got a speaker on the left, brightly coloured, well-labelled buttons in the middle, volume control on the right above a built-in microphone. Now to demonstrate how it works, I'll try and replicate as best as I can the way it was used within the movie. Once the card's been recorded on, just reinsert it in the machine to play it. And then if you want, you can play around with it. And it also has a built-in sampler, so you can then replay what you've just done. Now it's possible that you could get slightly better results if you were to use the microphone input and the auxiliary output. Now looking around the machine, I'll just show you on the bottom here, that's where the batteries go. Also there's a couple of switches in here. If I just turn it around, you can see the one at the bottom adjusts the playback speed. We've got standard and half. Half will give you longer recording per card, of course. And then at the top there's a switch which will lock out the teacher's recording capabilities so that the student can't record over the teacher's section on the tape. You see, each one of these has two recordings on it. There's a teacher's and then there's a student's. So I'll just demonstrate it to you with these cards here. So if you play this one, Nine. you can hear the teacher's recording. Two. Five. Now my machine isn't too good on the teacher's section, the heads might be misaligned, but the idea is of course you'd listen Nine. to the teacher's version of recording, you'd then move it into student mode, you'd then record your own version Nine. over the top, and then presumably later on the teacher could listen back to the cards to see how you were doing by playing your version back, or they could come over and say no, here, it should sound like this, and move it back into the teacher mode and just play Nine. that section, but you sounded like this. In amongst the cards I got with mine, I've found the name of the teachers. We've got... She sounds like someone you don't want to mess with. We've also got... So as you can see, those were originally recorded in the standard speed mode. So I'll just switch that back and then we'll be able to hear what they should originally have sounded like. Miss Dixon. Miss Evan. Now these machines are no longer being manufactured. I bought mine secondhand on eBay. The copyright date on the cards I've got with it says 1998. I don't know how many years after that they continued to sell them for, but of course things like this will have now moved on to a computer application instead. Now I know it's designed for education, but you can have some really good fun with this thing. If you talk into it and record and then drag your card a little bit faster, you can get some unusual effects on it. But of course it's most fun when used as a tape scratch machine. Despite my subpar scratching abilities, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this piece of repurposed educational tech. But that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.